to Teague. And obviously this pitch is to his liking. And early in his innings, he gets on the back foot and hammers it through middle football. And that is exactly the one they hope that he will fend away and maybe get caught in that position. But he lets it in just waiting for a little bit of treatment. Shortish ball from McMillan. Big effort ball. Didn't bounce, I don't think, as much as he thought it would. Straight on the arm guard. Almost on the bridge of the arm guard where the, the top of the arm guard finishes and the arm resumes. But there isn't an arm underneath the guard, of course. <laughs> I think he's coming off. So another big blow this for the Indians. Don't be surprised if he's uh, hurt himself very badly. He'll be on strike to Alan Donald. And straight away a bouncer. Four hands down the line. Peel was set for the bouncer. He hit it straight back. This is a completely different batsman out there. He cleared the man at square leg, was there for the shot. Now, is this great batting, or is this just a personal debate? Uh, nothing better than fast bowlers bowling short, the batsman, batsman taking them on. Not quite in control of this shot, the former Indian captain. Try to get it down, you watch him attempt to turn his wrist, but just a fraction higher than he would have thought. And the man is two-thirds of the way to the fence. Now uh, he is... The board. Oh, he lost the ball completely. The man down at square leg, he completely the world. So it drinks over, and Brian McMillan into Azure Dean. It's wide outside the front, and it's hammered away to cover point for four more. Giving him too much whip, and Azure Dean, in this sort of belligerent mood, makes a meal of something like that, and he goes to his 50. No, he races to his 50. It's been a blazing knock from the former India captain. Dev and uh, Saeed Kamani. Uh, they like it because it's going to be four more runs, but uh, this was one of the luckier fours. There have not been many. He's played absolutely brilliantly. Away it goes down the fine leg, and Adams will not get around the that ball. With the spin and very risky, he just worked. That's four. As we're getting in full flow now. And a little bit of luck here. A little run for you under these circumstances it often does that's the second really full shot we've seen as we didn't play both of spinners the first of Simcox this one of Adams and they both went for four in the same area of the ground and as it tells Kubo to stay down his end the ball leaving the right hander and once it gets past in this fabulously fast outfield it just wanders in and Hudson has no chance Kumbhai is sent to his vice captain. You just stay down your end, Anil. I'll fix that my end. That's a classic shot. How often do you see Mohamed Azraddin get inside it to hit it through the offside when we all know what a wonderful onside player he was? That's the shot of the morning for me. 288 to 7. Azraddin's played this morning. Over the top. That's it. exciting test centuries in the history of the game and standing applause by all and sundry including the South Africans and if you want to see fabulous test match cricket 
And one of the great centuries of all time. What, what a performance. And he's repeated the dice. No man had been with it. And in fact, that may have over the top of Hallis. And it's an end of the crowd on the fall. So he ends the first over after T with a six of Adams. As a in a century, India 314 for seven. Absolutely phenomenal. Field space, still no mid wicket. Yeah. Caught and bowled. So the youngster claims the wicket and the sensational innings of Mohammad Azharuddin ends. The South African players congratulate Azharuddin. They go to the youngster and he will be disappointed. He came down the pitch. He tried to smack it past the bowler. But the applause that this man will get from what is a very, very big crowd at Eden Gardens and Pat Simcox clap and the crowd is packed in here at Eden Gardens and they have witnessed one of the great centuries of all time in Test cricket. 109 from just 77 and 33 years of age, his 15th Test century after retiring hurt yesterday, his 4th century at Eden Gardens and listen to that crowd.